Yo guys, how's everyone? Welcome to another episode of B Gaming. Today I'm showing you some PvP highlights, including plays from the new Harpies Reborn deck that I built up. This is different from my previous two version, so make sure you check them out and give a like. And followed by the tier one Cyber Mind Scan. As you can see on the right hand side, the deck list is there. So I'm just going through the deck list of the Harpies Reborn. I'm having a happy lady sisters because I think that sometimes I need some monster to overpower the other so this comes in handy against decks like a uh, hazy frame that is not affected by any card effect so this this killer here allows me to overpower her so next I have two happy dancer the reason why I have two happy dancer is that well its effect is kind of cool, it allows me to bring an unhappy out but its attack and defense kind of low so I prefer some bitter because I'm a monster so next I have 3 bird face to summon up more happy lady to my hand because its effect is that if it's sent to graveyard as a result better so just remember is if it's destroyed by better it's not that his effect will come out if that's cut effect to bring him to the graveyard it doesn't work that way so next I have happy lady one cyber happy happy lady they are all gonna be 1800 beater with the spell skill and this happy lady one skill next I have paratwister I think his combo with big bang shop is just amazing because basically I can have these two of them have a combo to destroy two of the opponent monster and or spell card check out one of the highlight later because uh, I purposely make one gameplay of showing that combo 3 econ who don't love econ I can econ take for game I can use this to counter cyber angel for my previous uh, highlights as I mentioned the only way to counter cyber angel is to enemy controller and definitely fracket so this 5 card is to counter a bigger monster by the opponent and I have this elegant actor stick to use it as I would say a tech card to bring up my happy lady sisters most of the time if not I would just use it to make a combo with para twister if I need to and I have 3 powerful rebirth as it is too good to be true it allows me to special summon one level 4 less monster in the graveyard and buff its attack and defend by 100 so it is pretty good I will go through the cyber mind deck later but in the meantime let's just check out the highlight I'm still cramming at the pvp so hopefully I get more success I basically am running happy ladies in the ladder and using my scan for the closure if I have a promotion match. That's how I run my play nowadays. Hope you enjoy the highlights and remember to subscribe and follow me on my Facebook. I watch just watch my other videos, they are all good. So I have a starting hand of Fratkid and Happy Dancer, usually I would just... They have no back row so no point summoning my Happy Lady. I'm just messing around with my dog face, I want them to show their face out and force them to attack. I set down Fratkid because I know that there's a union attack coming up. So make sure that you understand the opponent play. So I'm no knowing that he's trying to summon the... ZY monster which able's to destroy my front row so I frag it straight away no doubt about it I'm just wasting my time now and now with two back row I call up cyber dance cyber happy dancer sorry so I you just use it to destroy his back row like what normal happy does because we are a monster we destroy people so I just bring it back, destroy a powerful rebirth because that card is not a too wide to crack here. 
Actually, I can go for a win here by just trying to show you guys another combo. So stay here to the later part of the replay. So as usual, I just keep on destroying and bring up another higher monster so I can attack them. So he's just trying to mill up more of his combo to summon more unit attack to destroy me. But I'm not gonna have any of that. So I, I make a mistake here. I attack him, make, making him face up for his effect to come up. This is one of the mistakes I make. But because I'm trying to equip him with the big bang shot, that's why I did attack this exact tank cannon. So now I have most of my combo, I just need my para twister. So I'm just ca carry on attacking him. Just remember that po poison mines turns your card to defense, but you can turn them up if it's not someone that turns, so no big deal about that. He has more special summon back to his hand, he's trying to bring up another big voice out. I don't have any frag gate, so that may be gonna be an issue. So he bit down me. He bit down me, hit my huffy lady. Not to worry about that. I'm just waiting. He think that he has her upper hand now, but not for me. I'm just waiting for the combo. Wait for it guys. I beat bang shot first to destroy one of his cards. Because I'm just a monster, I love destroying. So I use my cyber harpy, destroy my big bang shot, which destroy the equip card. So he bit down me again, no issue about that, and here comes my combo, watch and look. Cyber Dancer, destroy one of the back row, it's a union scramble, allows him to activate his effect, but no biggie about that. And now I use an Ahapi to destroy my powerful creeper to make space for big bang shot, equip to here, and watch this, I use my parallel twister. And I will destroy my big bang shot, which will destroy this card and allows me to destroy another card. This is the combo I'm talking about. So now the field is clear. I'm able to destroy him at my rear, but I will just do another monster play, a uh, E contain, and he have nothing behind. This is one of the powerful things about Harpy back in the days when everyone just loved playing harpies. So next is another replay of harpy. It's not that long as the previous one because I'm trying to make the combo for you guys so I'm just starting the game. Anyway thanks for our support, I'm getting well as of now. Hopefully I can make more videos later in the day. Hope you guys enjoy and subscribe and give a like. So here I'm um, versus a few of the warrior deck, most likely gonna be samurai. So I have everything ready and he's a monster, he destroyed his field card. I was like what the hell is he doing? So this game is kinda weird. He did not set his back row till the very later stage. So I just have a happy out first. Okay, one thing to learn is that if you do not wish to activate happy effect. You can just summon monster first, then put a fear card. This is important because you do not want to destroy your back row or your first spell. So I just came on attacking him. He's just not setting any back row, which I don't mind. It's his loss, it's not my loss. And now he's due the special summon, the Chancellor, removing two six samurai in the graveyard. The reason why he can't activate Yanchi effect is that it has to have another 6 samurai on the field and Chancellor is not a samurai so he can't activate his effect to destroy my powerful river. And he's destroyed again, destroying his winning, always remember that but not to worry, I have everything in plan, I just need my combo card. So he just came on destroying me and setting up some back row which I like it, I don't mind, I left with 100. And now it's the comeback, Cyber Happy Lady, destroying his back row, got our powerful rebirth and I'm able to get another out 
And here comes your sister. The happy lady sister. So this is the reason why I included happy lady sister in my deck. Because I can buff him up to 2450 attack. Remember that. See how much the attack is? 2450. 2300. Because this girl, 1800 plus revival from the graveyard is 1900 plus this 200 is 2100 plus this. That's so much attack. So much attack. And that's it for him. No coming back. Personally, I think that Hoppy is going to be tier 2 or tier 1 soon. So just hopefully the new box will have more spell cards that will have more combo Hoppies or bigger Hoppies monsters to destroy the opponent. Now I'm just featuring the very meta deck, the tier, tier 1 or tier 0 deck, Cyber Scan, Cyber Angel. <coughs> Duel. So pretty much it's a very standard gameplay. I'm just trying to show you some of some educational things about cyber. It's not that you have a cyber and you win. This game is kind of a tilter. He's just re reviving himself, making his life, setting up bad rolls like draining shield, wall disruption and this another card the infernal tempers at this stage i know that he's not setting up any monsters so i have to go very smart on him slowly yet surely so i get my in the 10 band 10 combo first i put on defense because i know that the next hit he will activate his wall disruption so i do not wish him to make my in the 10 attack to be zero so now the war of disruption. No big on that because he has no monster to capitalize on it. And I can use this two level four monster to make a witcher summon for my boss. The decay. So I'm just milling out and I know that on this turn he's able to survive as well. I'm not gonna go for the leader because he has a draining shield, so I wait. And now he used the destiny draw on me. He has another super seed berry to revive. He's just stalling. I'm not sure why people even use this kind of deck. But it's kind of fun. It's kind of brain taxing honestly. It's milling up my, my decks pretty fast. So I use the either 10 to attack. And he, I have no idea why the attack went through if you ask me. But he's milling up all my monster, and I have the heart of the card, just that the card I need. He uses Destiny Draw, Lava Golem, and I have Anti Magic Arrow for the win. So pretty much straightforward. It's just that I'm. I was lucky to have anti magic arrow in my deck so I can neglect all the spell and trap cards, all the back row he said, and go for the win. Easy things. Be sure to message me or comment, leave your comments down below for more other decks or what kind of content you like to see. I'm always here to show you guys more video. Or play other game so this is basically a mirror match so what you're gonna do against a mirror match this is what I'm gonna show you the Mido scan versus the Mido scan Duel. so I have my combo in my hand I can say it's not a good thing he go first so my winning percentage automatically increase he has a frog gate keep, but keep that in mind I use the band 10 in the 10 combo. I just make it face up because I want to go in on the Cyber Angel PRT. I just mean up more monster because I know that I need to drag a bit and to mean up more of my combo. So I use the Sanju 
because the the reason why I need to have more bikini before I can put my bikini on the field because I will get fragged anyway. So he kind of get break, and from here, I just don't even bother going to bikini. I just go for the W, which you can see here. You have frag get me, no biggie. That's why I have another plan. So his hand is kind of break, to be honest. But that's what you hope when you are playing PvP. So always be aware of the opponent uh, set spell and trap if you are playing Cyber Angel deck, Frog Gate and Econ is always a pain in your ass. So this is the last game of the highlight, hope you guys enjoy the creep. I'll be trying to pull up more happy lady deck and replace. I'm trying to improve it to be a tier 1 deck, so bear with me. So I'm not sure what is he doing. He, he used restart so he may be a cyber angel as well. So in this point, I need to have 2 monsters on the field. If not, usually I would just have one because I do not want any combo wombo against me next turn. But if you are in doubt, just use just use the combo to have two in the in the field. So he has a tragedy. This is one of the next uh, I would say a uh, more common now. People are using tragedy to defend to destroy face down monster. We are seeing this more and more in the uh, PvP ladder now. And use my bikini. I did not activate my bikini effect, so this guy is pretty good because he would have tribute take and he has no effect to be destroyed. So I'm just waiting for him to use his tragedy before I go lethal on him. So he used his Twin Barrel Dragon again, hoping to kill me. So I just get a more Dikini because usually that's how you win the game. It's pretty straightforward here. And I'm able to destroy one of him using the Dikini effect. I may have Cyber Angel PRT because he's cute. So he left with 300, he's trying his best to get the card that he wants and I have the combo in my next turn so I have no worries. So now he used tragedy because I saw a wall disruption but it's okay I'm just baiting him because now I'm going for the beta. This is one way to buff your bikini attack because of wall disruption. You will only want two to one monster on the field to play around with the wall disruption. I have two at, as of now because I have 3700 minus 1600. I still have 2100 attack minus the wall disruption. So there you go, easy peasy. Alright, I'll be coming up more videos later, so be sure to stay tuned and watch. Have a good day, evening, and signing off. Peace.